Roughly how much did your house cost? What do people drink at your weddings if Mormons don't drink tea, coffee and alcohol? Why don't you wear makeup? Why don't you style your hair? If you were to do your life over again, would you still get married and have kids younger? So I'm back again with part two of the Q&A that I did two weeks ago. Um, you all seem to really enjoy it and it was honestly really fun for me to film. And there was quite a few questions from the last one that I didn't get to answer because I was trying to keep the video shorter and the video ended up being a lot shorter than I expected. So I'm now going to answer all those and then I have a few more new ones that I'm going to answer. Tell me why I'm out of breath. Like I haven't done anything. I'm just sitting here and I'm out of breath. And also I don't know why but my eye is twitching all the time at the minute. I'm assuming it's because I'm tired. So if you see this eye in particular twitch, you didn't see it. Just pretend like you didn't see it. Maybe it's this eye. I don't know, it's one of them. So let's just get right on into the questions. Okay, in no particular order, I just screenshotted these as they kind of came in. Um, so let's just start at the, let's just start at the top. So roughly how much did your house cost? I feel like people are really scared to talk about money. Now, I know it can be a sensitive topic, but I don't necessarily think that it should be. Um, but our house cost about £190,000. Um, maybe it's controversial to say the price of your house online, but I don't really have anything to hide. So yeah. Question number two, would you say you're the same person online as you are in person? And I would say yes, but you can only show a certain amount of your personality online, especially through TikTok. Like I feel like you're confined to like 30 second videos, you know? So people don't necessarily see your full personality, but I would say the way I act would be the way I would act in real life as well. Maybe I'm a bit more sassy in real life, but I'm yeah, very much the same person. So why did you choose to start a family at a young age? Um, I guess that's just how I'd always envisioned it. I feel like a lot of people want to do something similar to their own parents. And I'm the youngest and my mom had me when she was 30. And so I don't know why I'd always envisioned having all of my kids before I was 30, um, which I'm on path to do. So I guess that's one of the reasons why. Um, and then obviously, I, I guess your religion plays a factor into it. Being Mormon, families is really important. Having families young is very common and very popular and so then it's just kind of the culture that I grew up in. Um, I don't know if there's a particular reason, I just always wanted to be a young mum. So what do people drink at your weddings if Mormons don't drink tea, coffee and alcohol? Well I'll let you into a secret, just because we don't drink it doesn't mean we don't allow other people to drink it. Um, my wedding was at like a v venue here in Ireland and there was a bar and there was alcohol served. Now, did I pay for people to drink alcohol? Did I have an open bar that I paid for? No. And even on like, you know, normally how you have like a champagne reception, we just did like slur. Um, but there was a bar there and people were more than welcome to buy alcohol. And then in terms of tea and coffee, I believe our our wedding was like a five course meal. So there was like starters, main course, dessert, whatever. And there was tea and coffee. It was just more that if the Mormons didn't want to drink it, then they just say no, but everybody else was allowed it. Um, and I think honestly, my wedding probably had more non-members than it actually did members. So yes, they were allowed to drink it. We're not crazy. And kind of following up with that, does any of your Mormon family drink tea, coffee, alcohol? And if so, are they judged for doing so? Well, no, because I feel like because they're Mormon, they wouldn't be drinking any of those things. But like my sister would drink alcohol. She's not a member um, anymore. And like my granny, who's not a member, would drink tea and coffee. And no, we don't judge them. That's just people's way of life. I don't think any of us care if other people do it. We just don't do it. Or at least I don't care. So I answered this one in the last video. And then things changed since then. So someone asked, are you traveling anywhere soon? So in the last video, I had mentioned that we are going to Denver. Um, and I don't know if I said when, but we're probably going to go for all of June and maybe part of May. Um, and then Trent's birthday, his 30th birthday was actually last week. And so for his 30th birthday, I booked for us to go away to Mallorca for a few days. Um, it would have been nice to do a trip, just the two of us. But because Annie's still breastfeeding, I feel like I can't leave her. And then I feel like we have to take her 
we can't not take Smith. So we are going to Norca for a few days at the end of March. Oh, I had quite a few ones like this and I feel like it gets me kind of defensive and I don't know if the people mean any harm, but it was saying, why don't you wear makeup? Um, why don't you style your hair? Would you not get your eyebrows done or wear makeup? That was a few different um, questions. So let's start with the first one. Why don't I wear makeup? There's a few factors in this. One, I feel like a lot of people started wearing makeup in like secondary school and a lot of times it was to hide their acne, like their spots. And I always had clear skin, so I just never felt the need to. And so then because I never wore it as a teen, I feel like I've just never worn it now as an adult. Um, the second would be, I am too lazy. I would rather get an extra 10 minutes in my bed than get up and put makeup on, to be honest. And if I'm going to sit here with the kids all day, why would I put a face of makeup on to sit with the kids? Like, that doesn't ever make sense to me. It's the same with jeans. Like, I'm not going to wear jeans to just sit in my house and stare at my kids when I instead could wear a tracksuit, you know? That's kind of the main reasons why I don't wear makeup. And then, why don't you style your hair? I find this one quite offensive because... I do style my hair now today it is greasy let's ignore that but I do dry and straighten it every time I wash it so I am styling it um yes maybe I don't curl it and go all out but like I said I would rather get the extra 10 minutes in bed why would I curl my hair to sit at home with my kids like I just I just don't really get that like yes maybe I'm putting myself online so maybe I should do my hair nicer but at the same time I feel like as a viewer I don't want to always watch people whose hair is perfect, whose house is perfect, whose clothes are perfect. And like, that's not realistic and that's not obtainable. So I would rather people watch me and it's like more realistic. Like, yes, my hair is greasy, you know? Like, I am not always put together. I don't always have time to put makeup on. I don't always have time to curl my hair and I don't really want to and I think that's okay. Um, and then the last one, would you not get your eyebrows done or wear makeup? Um, my eyebrows are actually microbladed, um, so I do do that. In terms of like other things, like I would love to get eyelash extensions, you know? I feel like that's something I'd be interested in, but A, it's expensive and it's finding the time. Um, like an hour every few weeks, I have other things that I could be doing. Like I'm trying to do YouTube, I'm trying to do TikTok, I'm trying to work for my granny, I'm trying to keep a house run, I'm trying to look after kids, I'm trying to educate kids. like. I'm trying to do all those things. I just don't right now have the time to be going and like maintaining that side of me, which maybe people don't agree with, maybe I should. But like to conclude this little topic, um, I don't think we should be too worried if people are not wearing makeup. I think makeup is a great thing. It's really fun for people. Um, but I think we should be encouraging more people to feel comfortable in their own skin instead of asking them why they don't wear makeup. Because then you're kind of implying to me that you feel like I need makeup, which is kind of offensive. Um, I'm personally comfortable in my own skin. I want my daughter to feel comfortable in her own skin, just like my son should be comfortable in his own skin. It's funny that men, we don't ask men why they don't wear makeup, why men don't have to cover up, but we as women are supposed to. Why is the beauty standard made in such a way that women have to constantly do their hair, have to put a full piece of makeup on to look beautiful? I feel like... I'm confident in my own skin. I don't want to wear makeup. Therefore, nobody really should care that I don't wear makeup. Maybe that was a long rant, but I just feel kind of passionate about it. I've never worn makeup and I don't want, I don't want to feel like I have to and I don't want other people to make other people feel like they don't have to. On to a lighter subject after that rant. Um, something most people don't know about you. Gosh, that's hard. Something most people don't know about me. I guess a kind of stupid one is I have my ears pierced three times, like one, two, three. So I have six piercings on my ears. I feel like a lot of people wouldn't know that because they did a really bad job. So I took them out. Um, so a lot of people probably wouldn't know that. Now that's not very juicy, but that's literally all I can think of. Um, if you could change one thing, what would it be? Now I'm assuming this is one thing about myself. Um, and not like one thing about the world. Maybe that's a vein of me for read for reading it like that. If I could change one thing about me, easy peasy lemon squeezy is my teeth. Am I a backseat driver? Trent, did you get this comment? Um, I don't think so. Trent probably would say otherwise. 
Um, but I don't think I'm a backseat driver. But maybe we'll have Trent in next time to answer this question. Oh, oh, this kind of circles back to what I just said. How come you got braces as an adult and not when you were younger? Actually, funny story. I guess that's a thing maybe a lot of you would know. I actually did have braces as a teen. Oh, this is kind of a long story, but my teeth were never really that wonky. Like there was never really anything wrong with them. I just actually have a lot of jaw issues. So when I got braces as a teenager, I feel like here in the UK, like Ireland, well, I can speak for Northern Ireland and Derry specifically, their um, orthodontic care is nowhere near as good as America. Um, so I got braces for six months. All they did was straighten my teeth and they took them off. They never tried to fix any of my jaw issues. That's why I kind of got, so then I didn't wear my retainer after that, silly me. And so then I did need braces again as an adult. I thought just to straighten out my teeth. I was so self-conscious about my teeth. I really still hate my teeth. Um, I feel like they look a lot better in camera than they are in real life. And I'm not going to point out all the flaws because I don't want other people to notice them. But I really, really notice it. Um, so then I got braces again as an adult in the hopes to fix some of those jaw issues. Now, to fix my jaw issues, I would need double jaw surgery. That's just how it is. And I'm just not, I'm just not ready to do that. I just don't feel like I could deal with a recovery right now with young kids. And maybe it's something I'll do in the future and maybe it's something I won't. But in America, they at least try to fix my jaw. So I would have got like an expander put in to try and widen this upper jaw because this upper jaw was actually smaller than the bottom jaw and then I have an open bite which means when you bite down in your teeth I have like a gap like here you can see um so they tried to make that as good as possible I did get braces as a teen but they didn't really do anything besides straighten my teeth they didn't try to fix anything um whereas I feel like in America they really did try to fix it I probably honestly could do with braces a third time so maybe I'll be doing that someday. How do you not let the haters get to you? I really struggle with this as I'm such a people pleaser and hate conflict. As you can tell from my rant five minutes ago, um, the rude comments definitely do get to me at times, um, but I typically do react to them, which I know is bad. Um, I either react to them or I straight up block and delete the comments. Um, and I probably should just block and delete more than I do react. But sometimes that's just part of a negative flaw in my personality. I just need to bite back. Um, and yeah, I probably shouldn't do that. It's genuinely hard sometimes when people say things that you're already self-conscious about. But a lot of times people are saying things that I've already heard before. Like, you're in a cult. Like, oh, okay. okay. Like, that's not really going to hurt me because... I've heard that a million times, you know. So I guess my biggest tip would just be to ignore it, not react. And at the end of the day, what you think of yourself is a lot more important than what some random people on the internet think about yourself. A lot of times what they're commenting is a reflection of how they feel about themselves. Um, it's like they're projecting onto you. So it's more about how they feel and not really about you as a person. So I think I'm going to do this one as the last one because a lot of the other ones were just kind of like, do you want pets and kind of questions like that. And I don't know if people really care to listen to that. But if you were to do your life over again, would you still get married and have kids younger than the average person in Ireland? Do you feel like you missed out on other things people in their 20s were doing? The answer to this is yes, but I would change a few things. I got married at 20 and I do you think 20 is very very young to be getting married um but that's just the culture in Utah and that's where I went that's where I was living in the time now I did date Trent for a year before we got engaged which to most people that's crazy but in Utah that's actually pretty long so I do think getting married younger was just common where I lived and then the second part of the question was saying do you feel like you missed out on other things people were doing in their 20s I don't know if being married really changed anything I can still have done all the same things other people were doing in their 20s you know like people were going on holidays and doing all those things being married wasn't necessarily what would have held me back from that but I do feel like if I could do things over and maybe still get married at 20 I wish what Trent and I would have done was do a lot more traveling um and done a lot more fun things 
because I do feel like I missed out on that but that wasn't because of being married that was just because we were focused on saving and we were focused on like university and then we got jobs and we were focused on that um so I don't necessarily think being married was what held me back it was just other things um and then if I were to do it over again would I like, still have kids young and the answer to that is yes 100% um I've always wanted to be a young mum like I said I think there's a lot of benefits to being a young mum um yes it's sometimes hard when you see a lot of people my age going out and partying and like going on vacations and doing all these things that maybe I can't do but I feel like there's nothing more fulfilling than having a family and those people will have families in 10 years time and then in 10 years time my kids are going to be like in secondary school and so like I'm going to have a lot more freedom maybe in 15 years time than they will have um there's definitely pros and cons to having kids young and old and I just think even like pregnancy is really really tough on my body and I can't imagine in 10 years time trying to be pregnant I think that would be really rough so all in all if I could do life over again I would still choose the same path but I just wish Trent and I would have done more fun things when it was just the two of us because it is a lot harder to do all those things now that we have kids it's not as enjoyable going on vacation I don't think with kids as it is without kids so that's basically all the questions that I have um hopefully this video isn't too long and hopefully you enjoyed hearing some of my answers sorry that I got a bit defensive but that's just the reality of life um and so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you aren't already please subscribe I think we're really close to 700 and yeah um thanks for watching and I'll see you next time